Uh, this afternoon, we are learning some new information about two children who were killed on the 78 yesterday. Meanwhile, their mother is facing several charges. Our Zara Barker is live in Vista with an update on the investigation and information from the family. Zara. Yeah, Kasha, Andrew, good afternoon to the both of you. This is just a horrific incident from those that were on the scene yesterday to now having to investigate this. And of course, the family who is now mourning the loss of a 10 year old and 16 year old who were killed in this traffic incident on the 78 eastbound yesterday. This happened just after six o'clock last night. Now the family is in mourning and the mother is behind bars. An unimaginable tragedy on the 78 freeway on Father's Day has left a family shaken and those involved in shock. It's horrible. I mean, any uh, any any situation where you think death might be involved is awful, but I mean, your heart just sinks to the pit of your stomach when you when you know or hear that a kid is involved. Officials say 33 year old Sandra Ortiz was driving on the eastbound 78 with her six kids in the car. Luggage came loose. She pulled to the shoulder just east of Mar Vista Drive. Two kids the family has identified as 16 year old Amy Monserrat and 10 year old Alan Gerardo got out of the car into the lane of oncoming traffic. That's where they were hit and killed. Their mother was arrested on the scene. On scene, the, she was given field sobriety tests. Um, she was determined to be under the influence, um, obviously devastated, um, and she was placed under arrest for DUI, uh, gross vehicular manslaughter, and child endangerment as well. CHP says this is the car that hit the kids. The driver is a 41-year-old woman from Vista who stayed on the scene and has been cooperating with the investigation. She was distraught, yeah, as any of us would be having to deal with something like that. I'm sure probably in shock. The children's grandma and cousin send a statement to Fox 5 honoring Amy and Allen. They said, quote, Amy's warmth, generosity and the love she shared touched the lives of all who knew her. Allen's selflessness and desire to care for his family were truly admirable, a testament to his kind and compassionate nature. We would like to express our heartfelt gratitude for the overwhelming outpouring of love, support and condolences we have received from the community. The family is asking for the community help with a GoFundMe toward funeral expenses. According to CHP, the mom and six kids were in between permanent residences, which may explain the luggage. This tragic incident highlights the danger of stopping on the freeway. If you do stop on the freeway, please, it only should only be an emergency. Um, if you're able to get off the freeway, please do so. Um, if you have to stop on the freeway, please wear your seatbelt and stay in the vehicle. Um, if you have to address an issue or if something is on the freeway, you can always call the highway patrol and we will respond and help you address that issue. And we also were able to confirm this afternoon that the other four children that were in that GMC Yukon at the time of this incident last night are now being cared for by another family member as their mother is currently behind bars. She's being held on a $500,000 bail and she's set to make her first court appearance on these charges on Thursday afternoon. Live in Vista, Zara Barker, Fox 5 News.